Okay, welcome back to Midnight Tutor. We have yet another problem. This one deals with, well, we'll have to find out. But if you have any problems you can't solve, send an email to solve at midnighttutor.com and also get ready for our complete set of AP Calculus re review problems coming out in the next few weeks. Okay, this one, we have a DDX of this entire thing. Integral from 0 to x cubed minus 1 of sine of t squared dt minus the integral from 1 to 3 of e to the t squared dt. So, unless you recognize this problem as being related to something you've learned before, there's no way to solve it. It would be impossible to solve. So, a lot of things in calculus, what they really try to do is they take something that's simple that you've learned and then they try to disguise it and see whether you can recognize the disguise. So that's the question here. Can you recognize the disguise? Let's do this part first because it's the low-hanging fruit. The integral from 1 to 3 of e to the t squared dt is, is some area, right? But it's an area. It's a number. And we're taking the derivative with respect to some variable x of this number. Now, anytime you take the derivative of a constant, what do you get? Zero. So the derivative of this whole term then becomes zero, so we don't have to worry about that. That only leaves us with this kind of bizarre thing here, zero to x cubed minus one sine t squared dt. So now, do you notice a pattern? We have an x here. We have some expression with x here. We have a t here and a dt here. There should be some, like, beacon going off in your head. Boop, 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 that this is the fundamental theorem of calculus. Let's review that. What does that fundamental theorem state? It says d dx of the integral from 0 to x, f of t dt equals f of x. So now, can we match? This is just like matching like you would do in third grade. Can we match the pieces in this problem into this formula? Well, some of it's easy, some of it's not so easy. The dt is pretty simple. The sine t squared and f of t, pretty simple. The ddx, pretty simple. But then we have this x. But here we have x cubed minus 1. So what are we going to do? Well, can we make a change of variables? Can we rewrite x cubed minus 1 in some other variable and then adjust our dx term to go with that? Well, let's try it and see what happens. So let's let u equal x cubed minus 1. And then we can say du is going to be 3x squared times dx. Or dx is going to equal to du over 3ux squared. So now let's see if we can rewrite this problem, or what's left of it anyway. So we have d, du, I'm going to put in a u. Now we have to make an adjustment. If we put a d, if dx is du over 3x squared, if I put the du here, then I have to put a 3x squared out here to compensate. And now we have the integral from 0 to u of sine t squared dt. So now this piece in here exactly resembles our formula for the fundamental theorem of calculus. So now we can solve it. And we can say that this then equals f of u, which is going to be sine of u squared. So then the final answer, we have to include our 3x squared, so it equals 3x squared times sine of, and what do we let u equal? x cubed minus 1 squared. Okay, does that make sense? It's just a matching problem. It's like doing CSI Miami. You have to, you're presented with some situation and you have to dissect it into little pieces and then say, can we now make it look like something we know how to deal with?
Okay, send your problems to solve at midnighttutor.com and good luck.